Now, this is one unboxing video to introduce the latest product from Dolphin Data Lab. So the product name is DFL SATA to SAS Adapter Pro. Now, let's open the package. We can see this is the SATA to SAS adapter. Now, this adapter is used to convert the SAS interface to the SATA interface. Now, here is one SAS interface protector. Now, we can remove this one. It's very simple to remove. We can see that this is one SAS drive interface. And we can convert this SAS interface to the SATA. Now, we can see that this is one SATA interface. Now, this is a power interface, and this is one data interface. So, this adapter is very simple to use, but it is very important and very helpful to recover the nostril data or image, the pension drive for SAS hard drives. Now, let's check how to connect the SAS drives to this adapter and then connect this adapter to the popular data recovery hardware. Now we can see that this is one Western Digital SAS drive. For SAS drive, we can see this is the interface. To connect this SAS interface to the adapter, it's very simple. We just need to check the data and power, and then we, this is a data interface, and this is a power interface, so we need to connect this way. So it's very easy to connect. Now we come to connect. This is the SATA data interface. Now we connect the data cable. And this is the power cable. We need to connect it. OK, now we finish connect the physical collection. So this is a DFL SRP data recovery hardware. Now we need to make best use of the image setting or file extraction setting of the data DFL uh, SRP data recovery hardware to image this patient of 40 SAS drives with many bad sectors. Now let's go to the computer. This is a DFL DDP data recovery software. And we need to power on this patient drive. So this is a SAS drive. Now we can feel that the SAS drive is spinning now. OK, now the SAS drive gets ready. And here we can click the data extraction icon and set up one new project. So this is a source drive. It's within the SATA zero interface. We can click next. So here we can see that users have two options. The first one is to extract the data directly from the SAS drive. And the second one is to image the 40 SAS drives. Now, because the SAS drive doesn't have many batch sectors, and let's try to extract the last files directly. We click Finish. And here we come to extract the files directly. We can see the last partition has been listed directly. So we simply click the root folder and we can find out all the files within this SAS drive. So all users need to do is just to select one file or se select all the files you need and then right click, click save file or click recover selected files on the current node. So I select just one file, so I just click save file. 
I can save this file to any place users wish to save. Now I save this file to the desktop and click save. Now we can see that the DFLDDP data recovery software is recovering this video. After the progress, we can see that this last file will be saved on my desktop. So this one is very easy. So this is how we make best use of our latest product, DFL SATA to SAS adapter. This one, we connect the SAS drive to the adapter and then connect the adapter to the DFL SRP data recovery hardware. By this method, we can easily recover the lost data from SAS drives. Now we can see that here is the recovered last file. Thank you for watching the video.